IBMI PowerHA now makes it easier than ever to monitor the health of your PowerHA environment with our new health monitoring dashboards. Let's take a look. I'm now signing in to our Help Systems dashboards, and right away I'm presented with my dashboard showing my PowerHA health at a glance. So let's dive in. Starting on the left, we have our cluster nodes. If I click on this, we can drill into our node status and see that both the nodes in our cluster are active. Moving on to admin domains, we can see that I have one admin domain in my cluster and it is also active. Next, we have monitored resources or MREs. This will tell us if we have any MREs that are inconsistent or failed that we need to take a look at and resolve. What probably caught your eye as this dashboard first came up is this next item, unmonitored resources. These are resources that could be monitored by the admin domain, but are not currently being monitored. So this is probably something that we want to resolve. Let's click on it to drill down and see what resources are unmonitored by our system. Here we can see that we have a job description called My Job D in QGPL. Let's bring up a system and add it now. We're going to use the add cat MRE command to add this resource. Now that this resource has been added to the administrative domain, we'll see that our dashboard will update shortly, indicating that we no longer have any resources that are currently unmonitored by the admin domain. Next, we have cluster resource groups, or CRGs. We have a single CRG in this cluster called MyCRG, and it is currently active. Each cluster resource group has a recovery domain, which is an ordered list of nodes along with an indication of if we are ready for a switchover. The last item on our dashboard is for sessions. Sessions are used to control the replication. Let's drill in and take a look. We have a session called My Session, and its copy status is currently active, meaning that replication is running. The dashboard is updated as things in the environment change. For example, if replication becomes suspended for any reason, either user initiated, as I am doing here, or as part of a network problem, the dashboard will update to indicate at a glance that there is something in our environment that we need to take a look at. Drilling into recovery domain, we see that we have node HA in my CRG that is currently ineligible to become the primary node. Moving on to our sessions, we can see that our session is currently suspended. Let's resolve this by issuing the change ASP session resume command. After resuming replication, we will have a partial resynchronization of our data that has changed while replication was suspended. After this partial resynchronization is complete, we'll see that our recovery domain and session indicators no longer have any errors. Everything in our environment looks ready to go. These dashboards are highly customizable. For example, here is a dashboard showing multiple PowerHA environments on a single screen. We know within seconds that everything in all of our environments is healthy and ready for a switchover. If you have both PowerHA and RobotHA, you could have a dashboard for monitoring the health of both products on one screen. For more information on our PowerHA dashboards, including how to install, configure, and customize them, head over to the PowerHA wiki. This is all made possible by our core focus at Help Systems, security and automation solutions. With a complete family of integrated enterprise class solutions for IBM I, from HA to automation to BI, along with solutions for all platforms across your enterprise, including Windows, Unix, Linux, and supporting infrastructure that is on-prem, in the cloud, and hybrid cloud environments. Let us help you build a better IT.